I haven't been this scared in a tree in a long time. So this is a Washingtonia palm tree. There's a video online of a guy topping the one of these and going for a pretty wild ride. Ay Dios santo. Ah! A la verga, compa. And I'm hoping that's not going to be me today. If you're going to get it lowered, it might be. I'm, I'm not going to run the ropes very well. But it is Washingtonian. Look at Washingtonian. that bend. Yeah, they, they had to call me in because I'm a Washingtonian. It just makes sense. So. It's the only logical thing. Look how skinny and funky that thing is. <laughs> that's that's, uh, that's, that's going to be wobbly. That's guilty street. <laughs> you don't want it? I'll do it if you want. <laughs> no, you already did some palms. It's, uh, I'll do this one. That thing is funky over the water. This it's is knee treat. Clean sago, very rare because they had scale years ago and they all died. So if you kill this, that would not be cool. Really? Consider yeah. this kale. Consider <laughs> 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 this kale. Consider this kale. All right. It seems pretty straightforward. Just got to go up there and make this thing smaller. 45 to an hour before you get up. Yeah. <laughs> can you go? Can you come with me? <laughs> come with me up there. Let's do it. One Yeah. Yeah. We'll clip it to each other. You gotta help me, bro. I need. I need you up there with me. I can talk you through it. Oh man. All right. Well. I guess it's on. It's on like Washingtonian. Look at these guys. Yeah, I'll do that scary tree, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry about me. <laughs> I see you guys are busy. Because <laughs> yeah, Randy's not coming up with me. You got the little kids playing over there. You got the big kids playing over here. It's a, it's a, it's a school. Sell this camera or this thing, whatever. Yeah, I do site. sell this on my site, Randy. Sappy think it, <laughs> yeah, I do sell this on Sappy Supplies. Thank Looks you for like asking. I would run, and a lot of other people could run if they went to Sappy Supplies. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's such a good point. Are you nervous? Yeah, <laughs> I am. If you lower it, I'll, I'll be smooth. I promise. I am nervous. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like a nice breeze up there. What kind of flip line is Bite that? <laughs> <laughs> Where is the current stilio available at sappysupplies.com? Oh. Thank you for asking, Randy. <laughs> Look at those sharp That's spurs. kind of, actually pretty hard. All right, I think I'm gonna top it here. <laughs> <laughs> Send it, the water. This thing's not dead, it's just, why is it crackly? Why is it so flaky? Okay. I'm halfway there, right? Almost there. <laughs> I really hope this isn't a, another viral video. <laughs> for the first time in my life, for the first time in my life, I, I'm really hoping I don't go viral here. Is it like common for them to look like the trunk is dead? It's strong. Okay. <sighs> oh my God, dude, this is so... Oh, man. One step at a time. Oh, man, this thing is wiggly. Come on, Jake. Came all the way to Florida. Oh, oh this is so weird. This feels like when I first started climbing. This is really scary. Oh man. That's weird. Why is it like that? <laughs> Why is it like that? So close. Okay, I'm almost there. I don't want to do a big top. Dude, it's so noodly. Almost there. Come on, Jake. Oh. Oh, I hate this. I can't do anything to it. 
gotta be rational and I gotta be slow. I don't wanna rush because I'll make a mistake because I'm scared. I'm not stacking those. I don't care where they go. I don't care where these go. Stop moving. I want to get all the weight off the head first because I don't want it to move like crazy when I cut it. I haven't been this scared in a tree in a long time. But I think my fear is... Oh my god, it is so... Between my feet and my lanyard, it's like, oh, yeah, man. Uh, I was like, I don't care where these fall. I'm cutting it. That was so. It's so much wobblier than a fir tree. Like firs will be kind of. It's just. It's just I don't know how to explain it. It bends and flexes. That is so scary. There's Fort Lauderdale. This is by far the tallest tree in the area. I dropped some fronds in the canal. I, I, dude, I was like, I was really, this thing is really wobbly. It's like climbing a pool noodle, man. Oh boy. Well, it, it, the, the wind made it so much worse. You, you might not be able to tell my video. The wind is like, it, it was moving a lot, a lot. It's still moving. The wind is still moving this stick. Like it's wiggling right now, but not as much as it was. But it is a, uh, it's a weird, this is a weird feeling being in this tree. I'm used to tall trees. This thing is wobbly and wiggly and bendy, very bendy. Like you can feel it bowing when you're standing on it. The wood fiber is kind of hard to cut. It kind of wants to pinch your saw. Scary, mad respect for the guys that do palms like this all the time. This is wild. <laughs> how would you know if it was dead or not? Like how could you even tell if it was dead? It looks dead right now. On the cheese. Okay, heads up. <laughs> rings because they don't grow like trees the trees put on layers every year like this the palms kind of grow out they're more like grass oh man this thing is wobbly but yeah no really weird wood it's not like it's like a I don't know how to explain it it's not like 
something you'd build a table out of. See, when it comes to like being afraid of tree work, you know, it can be kind of rational or irrational. You can actually hurt yourself sometimes if you like working out of a rational fear. Like I was very afraid at the top of this tree because it was so wobbly and uncomfortable, but do these guys work on these trees all the time? Heath says that it'll hold me and I have no reason to doubt that. And the head is healthy and I just know deep down if I go all the way to the top and reduce all the weight up there, I'm not gonna go for a huge ride if I try to like lower the top out of this thing and really make it wiggly or something. So I was afraid, but the rational part of my brain was like, you're okay, Jake, just just work calmly and smoothly. Don't do anything that out of fear, just push past it. And that's how it was when I first started climbing. You know, everybody's afraid. A lot of people are afraid when they start climbing. I was definitely afraid. And I get this question a lot. How did you get over your fear? I just kept doing it and you know, I got over. I'm still afraid, like in dead trees and uh, sketchy situations. And in this tree, I was afraid, but I knew that rationally, I was just afraid, um, you know, I was, uh, you know, involuntarily afraid. There was no rationalization for it. I knew if I just stayed calm, I could get the top out of this tree and it wouldn't be wiggling so much. And now I'm not afraid anymore because I got the top out. Um, but you know, a lot of times, the fear is what keeps you safe. You know, if you're not, for a lot of times the people that get injured or killed in this industry are the guys that have been doing it for 20 or 30 years. They're just, they're not afraid anymore and they're not paying attention sometimes and you know, and something gets them. And that's, uh, that is just how it goes. So, you know, fear is a weird thing. It, it kind of keeps you, a healthy fear keeps you safe, you know, cause you pay attention and stuff. But a rational fear can put you in a dangerous situation if you let it get the best of you, you know. A lot of guys, they, they get scared. They don't want to go to the very top. So they cut the tree way bigger pieces than they should because uh, they don't want to get out to the tips or out to the top and it ends up making really dangerous situations so tree work is a tricky business it's always a balancing act of trying to push through the irrational fear and pay attention to the legitimate fear you know and uh, that's kind of what i had to work through with this tree and you know when, when you're new you, you you should be scared when you're new this is dangerous i mean this is a weird industry like there aren't, other industries aren't really like this you know like you know accountants don't go to work and you know just accept the fact that some of them aren't going to make it that day and that is how it works with cutting trees like we all go to work and we all just ex kind of accept the fact like we're not all going to make it back home today and some of us are going to die doing this and that is um, a scary reality and it's a harsh reality but that's the reality of this work and honestly it's what makes this work exciting uh conquering it and uh you know it's like why people climb mountains that's the same reason people enjoy this kind of work because you're overcoming your fear but not being afraid at all is really dangerous um so it's just a balancing act there's legitimate fear and there's irrational fear and i think it's it's really good to be able to discern between the two so let's finish cutting this tree down Look.
You want me to try to fish some of those out? No. no it's air, hey, air mulching, remember? scary. <laughs> it was really scary. It was really bendy at the top. I was like, I do not care where these fronds go. I just want these out of my life. I want this thing to stop moving. Nice work. Thanks. Thanks. What's the immediate takeaway? It was really scary. It was really wobbly. It was bendy. It wasn't like normal wood where it like it moves, but it was like the distance between my feet and my flip line was like bending, you know, it was really scary. And then the wind really didn't help much. That really wasn't helping. I couldn't wait to get the sail out of that thing. Did you see Randy shaking it from the bottom? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was moving so much. That was the distance. That's why I was moving so much. It was kind of, I was like really scared, but I, I was like thinking, you know, it's, I'm scared, like you're scared, Jake, but it's not rational. It's a strong tree. It'll hold you. Right. They wouldn't send you to your death. That's this thing, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like so, yeah. our guys to their death, but yeah. visiting guys. Contract climbers. <laughs> you know? He's the top. Yeah. He's, look at this idiot. Yeah. yeah. I, can't believe he's I would never this. send my climber up there. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get some out of stater to come. Oh yeah, it's solid. There's northerner up there not knowing. Yeah. <laughs> so one of the ways you could you could tell if this was in decline or not is the head would look like kind of skinny and gnarled. Yeah. And then you got a real problem in your hands, and you would have smelled it too. You would have smelled decomposition. Oh, interesting. But, yeah, because uh, the bark looks like a dead tree when you're climbing it. Right. It's all flaky like and it looks. Off, yeah, like it looks like it looks exactly like a dead. Right. Palm would look in my imagination, oh, and yeah. then I look up and it's like a green head. So yeah, and you're going like this, or, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Nice yeah. Job, man. Thanks, thank so you. There's probably no cuts where you did a cross section. Like what? You're, everything looked good. No, no, yeah. You know that um, palms are monocots and it's vascular bundles. Yeah, okay. I did. So they don't have growth rings or anything, yeah, and they just so. kind of grow up out of the like a grass. They don't really have right? cambium as we know it, but there's some sort of cambium. I don't know how this works because they will swell as they mature. But technically, but there's no ring growth. There's right, no, no secondary growth. Secondary, yeah, so, so. Yeah, they're weird. real weird. What's nice is this has not been trimmed much. So there wasn't a bunch of spike uh, oh, scars yeah. where pathogens could have entered. We had done this pulling forward with a bucket, and I think they changed the grade. They did something here. Oh, they changed that grade. They elevated the parking lot. We used to pull up to here and clean it for years. And then we couldn't reach it. And I'm like, eh, forget it. That's line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, eh, I don't see that. I'll get some out of stake guy to yeah, go Yeah. But up at there some and... point, some idiot will do it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no. Today's the day. I was yeah. right. <laughs> Your lucky Storm. day. Flush. Flush, yeah. <laughs> you may want to use our saw because you can, it can dull a chain. Because these are like roots. Like this has a root initiation zone. And these are all like roots. And this initiation Dark. zone goes higher. But this is like cutting into probably it's so that it's hard. more tolerant of water. I would imagine like yeah. the water level can change and it's not going to kill the tree. Or you could raise the grade in here. Um, not have to worry about it. But right now yeah, that's brackish that's water that leads to the ocean, which yeah. you, you know that. But 
Um, but these roots go super deep. If you look at my house where the wall fell, you'll see my coconuts, immature, like year and yeah. a half. The roots are so deep and so far into that brackish water. Weird, so they probably break a lot more than they uproot. Yes, Palms. correct, huh. correct. Because so I could picture this breaking. I was picturing it when I was up there. <laughs> you got one thing going for you, the water. Yeah. Like, eh, at least I'm going like, for the water. I couldn't believe how wobbly it was. It was it's like, like 40 feet up. You're like, hey, is it normal for the trunk to look dead? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, yeah, it is. <laughs> we yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right. And it's actually listen. normal to, for the crown to look green when it's dead. <laughs> 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 yeah, it was like city pretty good from here. I, yeah, I could actually. Yeah, it, it, it was the tallest tree around, like for sure. I looked everywhere, and this was the the tallest tree from up there. Dude, even even when I got the top, like the wind was still blowing it around a little bit. Right. It wasn't until I chunked like 25 feet off that it stopped so. moving a, a bunch, <laughs> and it was noticeably like. Um, I got really scared of the top because it got noticeably bendier. That last like 10 feet. Okay. It felt really bendy. But uh, yeah, that was an I experience. I think that's part of its sure. preservation. It's not rigid, you know. You so it can a handle flex, it. Not yeah, a snap. that makes sense. It's not succulent like you know a banyan tree. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He's a strong man. <laughs> <laughs> he demands his guys <laughs> are equally strong. And you don't get a uh, you don't get like wood flakes on this either. It's like just a pulp this comes out. Looks like I've been sanding for about an hour. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Michael, what's that? Can you get that? Pick it up by yourself? Maybe. Like a who's the felt? Oh Man. yeah. Woo! New guy. Easy. Uh -oh. oh oh, I got one. Right down the same neck. size. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pull on his belt loop. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for that tall Washingtonia. That tree's done. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll be back here tomorrow for more tree work in Florida. There you go. Yeah, thanks. Thank Heath. you, sir. Appreciate it.